Hey everybody, Hectoplasm here. This is Monty Reed playing Escape from Tarkov. And today we're working on the mini bus task for Ragman. As I'd mentioned, I'm trying to get my uh, level up with uh, Ragman so that I can access some of the equipment he has for sale. And uh, I put in the um, chat in YouTube and also in Twitch the link for the Gamepedia map that I'm using for this task. It has all three of the buses marked on the interchange map. I also have included the uh, regular interchange map that I use uh, for, uh, for interchange. I'm going in with my AK. I've got the large capacity drum magazine. I've got a recoil uh, pad on the end of the stock, reflex sight, and a suppressor. I've got my uh, pilgrim backpack in case I manage to get some loot. I like to fill it up. And I've um, got my standard load listed there in the YouTube description. Um, Twitch does not give me room to give you the full description that I'm able to do on the YouTube channel. So there's a link to my Tarkov, Escape from Tarkov YouTube videos. There was over 142 YouTube videos um, on the Escape from Tarkov playlist. Most of them are just uh, live feed playthroughs. There are a couple of teaching videos. Uh, one of them is on insurance, why you want to use it and how it works, and also on doing maintenance and repairs. And uh, I hope to do some more tutorial videos on how to go through these different quests, because one of the things I noticed, this is uh, August of 2019, a lot of the quests tell you to choose your spawn point, and you know that's a strategy with their instruction and teaching how to uh, um, achieve the task. But uh, as of August of 2019, you cannot choose your spawn point, so a lot of the videos need to be redone. So here, uh, first of all, I like to figure out where I'm at. I'm in a map, and this is an area where there's generally. I have run into a lot of scavs here, so I need to be careful. We're on the west end of the map. I am not looking for loot, but if the money just or stuff just throws itself in my face, I'm going to get it. Uh, but I am loaded for bear here with my drum magazine. See, I have a 95 round drum and a handful of 45 round magazines. Uh, to follow up with and my focus on this task is to get those uh, transponders attached to the minibuses and being on the west side what I need to do is go for the ultra and I need to enter the parking garage right there I've heard lots of rumors about when the scavs spawn in and when they don't spawn in. I do not know where the gate is here. Oh, look at that. I found it. Yes. All right. My intuition helped me find it. I really did have no clue that that was there. Um, so I have to be aware of scavs and other players. I want to continue to run so that I'm not in the open, but I also want to make sure that I have some stamina. Right now my stamina is gone. The uh, trees do not provide any protection from bullets, which is what we call cover. They do provide concealment. So you'll probably hear me refer to cover and concealment. Um, People get confused, but basically cover actually protects you from bullets, and the bullets will stop. And concealment just hides you. And so I like to try to use the trees to keep me concealed. And I know I've tried to jump that fence. I'm not capable of it. I'm going to run through the open here. And this bus has no way to get on it. I forgot about that. I thought there's loot. <laughs> All right. And one of the things I always like to do is make sure my weapon is on full auto in case I get surprised because I do have that 95 round drum. But if I don't get a single shot off, what good does it do me, right? So here's a bullet shield. Now we're going to go in and basically head to the left a little bit. That's where we should find that bus. I'm going to limit my running. That seems to alert scavs to my presence.
Uh, try not to get sidetracked by loot. Pretty sure that is our bus right there. That's our bus. So you push the F button twice, not too fast. That plants it, and then you have to protect your planted device till that countdown goes. I have experimented with walking away and I've got quite a bit of a distance as far as there and the countdown timer did not stop. And as far as I, I've never seen a scav actually pull it off before. Of course, anytime I see a scav, I'll shoot him. But um, I know that a player can walk up to it and pull it off of there. So you want to make sure that, that usually you hear that beautiful little jingle. Now, as you move this way, you'll see this opening in the floor. That opens up into the mall, and that would allow you up, but also it will allow scavs or players to shoot at you. So I like to stay away from that. You can get over there close if you want, but it's, I think it's better just to avoid it altogether. Plus, you can grab a little loot while you're over here. But basically, you're going to go from that bus past the ramp, and continue this way. And this other bus should be right through here. Let's see. I hope I didn't get turned around. Oh boy. All right. Yeah, I think I kind of went the wrong way. Any hustle. So, generally not a good idea to run from the scavs. I do have a suppressor, so it should limit the attention that's gone for us. Yeah, I needed to go left a little bit more. our little bus over there. That is our second bus. That light uh, might have just let them know that I'm here, so I'm going to go into crouch mode. You ready for them? Hopefully they're running over there where I was, and they're not going to fire us up, but I'm just going to get over here behind the bus. Plant that marker there. Stay in the crouch position. Ready to fire. Some of these stairwells have mannequins here at the bottom, and I've shot them before <laughs> thinking they were scabs. So from here, we need to go back out of the building and head to the right. So if we can get back the way we came without encountering those scavs, I think if I stay to the right, I should be able to avoid the scavs that were shooting at us. But it is possible that they're around, and their shooting could have got the attention of scavs up here. And now, any direction you go, you're likely to get uh, attention of scavs, so you got to be ready to shoot. They're scavengers, you know. Where is he? I don't know if he's on the ramp. Heard him talking. Uh, 
light could give me away. bit of lag. Gotta be ready for them. Those guys were over there. That's where I got them shooting at me. But I heard talking over here to the right. And that's the bus that we marked. using uh, bounding cover. They can still shoot you through the glass and they can shoot you underneath. Now that's the entrance we came in, that's where I want to go out. And if we find a scab, we want to take them out. Tarps will give you concealment, but they do not give you cover, obviously. I mean, they're just tarps. Right? And there could be players coming across that field at any moment. That's a bullet shield I can get behind. You don't want to just step out and have them start shooting at you. Let's see. There could be somebody over there shooting at me. Now what we want to do is move up northwards on this west side of the map. If you wanted to accomplish other stuff, we could go inside and go get some loot. What we're trying to do is accomplish this mission in one run. Now these trees give me concealment, like I said, but not cover. have to listen. You hear somebody running, you got to be ready to shoot. So. I personally have dealt with a lot of scabs in this area too. I mean, they've shot me, I've shot them, killed a lot of scabs through here. And I'm out of stamina, so I'm going to wait. Let's see if I can take any scabs out over there. I, when I first started playing, I would switch back and forth between single and full auto. I would go single fire for a distance shot, but I've found uh, recently that the time that it takes me to switch from, from full to single, very often I'm dead. I've already died. Now, I don't know why my stamina is, did not recharge. I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, I guess it's because I was zoomed. Yeah, I forgot. That uses up stamina in this game. I mean, they gotta do some things to make the game level. I have noticed that a lot of people don't need to zoom because they just know naturally where the bullet's gonna land, and pretty much their video game eye has allowed them to. Um, <laughs> they have a reticle, basically, subconscious reticle. I've watched a lot of the streamers, they don't ever zoom in their weapon. So I'm thinking more and more about that. I know um, when we do building clearing and anti-terrorist ops, uh, a lot of the shooting is what's called instinctive shooting. And you learn to make the gun an extension of your body, so where you point is where the bullets go. And you don't have to aim. And when you get that instinctive shooting down. You can literally have a gun in each hand shooting at two different targets. It sounds insane, but really any skill can be taught. <laughs> I was watching uh, Stan Lee's Superhumans the other day, and there was a modern day ninja guy who basically has a samurai sword in the scabbard and somebody uh, fires a plastic BB 
an airsoft BB at him. After she pulls the trigger, he draws the sword and slices it in half. Well, not exactly in half. I mean, the video I saw, it was actually about a quarter of the BB got cut off. But literally, the skinny, sharp blade edge of the sword cut the side off of the BB out of mid-air. They had a psychologist there and a eye doctor that was studying his reaction time and she said it's not humanly possible to do what he did so technically superhuman so anyway i mean you see those kind of things that that guy's uh learned instinctive slicing with his sword and so in real life you can learn instinctive shooting with the gun and so i'm working on transferring that skill to the game so i don't even have to don't even have to aim And it really is kind of, let's see, did I choose the right extraction? No, I didn't. I was talking too much. Power station southeast. I'm at the opposite corner, guys. Man, I'm not even paying attention. This, so this is uh, the northwest corner where you can exfil. If I had 3,000, I could go over to the power station, but I literally have to go to the opposite end of the map. Guys, I really messed that up. But, you know, it could be an adventure. Might as well fight across the north end of the map. We can get some loot as we go. Let's see. I haven't picked up any loot because I haven't encountered anyone yet. So I was going to make this so simple. <laughs> and then I was jabbering there and just got the wrong, wrong exit. Yeah. Come on. So, I mean, obviously I only fired a couple of rounds, so. All right, well, got two options. I have an idea store cash register key. We go back up inside and get 3,000 cash, 3,000 rubles cash and then pay to exfil at the power station or we can just work our way down that's hilarious and let's see did i actually you know i forgot <laughs> Man, I gotta stop talking. I forgot the third bus. <laughs> wow, that's really silly. I need to find that. Um... Wow. Sorry, guys. I totally spaced it on the location of that first bus. First bus is down at that um, that other corner anyway. Really dangerous to just run down the street like this. They get into the ditch at least. Yeah, so I've got to go to the um, to the lot. Some shooting over there.
shooting. I hope that that uh, was a player finishing off a scav. And that they're on to another mission. They'll leave us alone. There is a lot down here that uh, we need to get to. I like to turn often so I can identify where sounds are coming from because this game it's hard for me to tell where someone is coming from I don't know if it's just me or if it's everybody but for me I personally have trouble identifying exactly where an enemy is from the sound Lot that we're looking for. Sometimes I move and it's my, I hear myself, and it's like, is it me? Is it someone else? So this is the. South west corner, and in this lot is the minibus. And there might be a player, there might be some scavs, so gotta be ready. Are you ready? Are you ready to rock? All right. There's usually some good loot right here. So that tells me someone's already been through here to grab the loot, so they could be nearby. There's the bus. That's it right there. This timer counts down, we should hear a beautiful jingle. We'll also see on the task, we'll see this uh, third check mark come up. And then all we need to do is exfil. Okay, so our exfil point, southeast exfil, and look at this minibus task. We got all three of them checked. So now we just need to survive. So we can go out the back entrance. There is some loot. They could be waiting for us there. I hope not. And then the south, um, southeast corner of the building, there's a ramp. There's almost always multiple scavs there. So if we want to fight a little bit, that could be a way to go. There should be an opening in the fence if we want to go in here and get some loot. But rather than drag this on 
I would just like to show you guys how to complete this mission. I'm hoping to get it in one take. As soon as I get my stamina up, I can jump this uh, guardrail. There we go. And then I'll use the uh, concealment and cover of this ditch. As long as someone's not waiting for me. My guy's making noise, it's hard to hear what's going on. Best thing you can do for a sniper is, is stop and crouch. Because then they're like, take aim and take you out. And that's what they see when you stop to search. They just see you crouch with your head down. Oh, I got some more of that beard oil. Not sure if I should save that or or sell it on the market. Okay, this is the corner where there's usually lots of scavs if you want to get in a scav fight. But as I mentioned, we're in this quest to get done, get out. 95 rounds, I probably only fired five. I brought an extra hundred, at least an extra hundred to reload magazines too. I think I'm going to trade in my 30 round mags for some more 45 round mags because I really like having, once I'm done with the 95, I like having 45. In case someone's heavily armed, you know, armored, like they got uh, Donatello, turtle, armor, and helmet. It's kind of nice to just hold the trigger down and empty a magazine. I found in labs uh, that it takes about 40 to 45 bullets to stop one guy so I pretty much um, in the labs with the 95 round drum I plan on the drum taking out the first two guys and then each 45 mag round mag I'm counting on it taking out one guy and they seem to come in, in uh, groups of two so alright we made it out guys so guess we have some surprise assassin take us we should be good so that was the ragman minibus tour and from here I'll show you the completion where we just go uh, to the dealers and click on click on ragman and finish the quest Alrighty, 25 minutes. Only give me nine experience points. <laughs> no kills. Did I hit anybody? 19 bullets used. All right. So I got a little experience for picking up some bullets. <clears throat> I always thought there was a survival bonus, but I guess I guess not. That's only when you're actually in combat, right? So that did not advance me towards level 30 at all, which is what I do need to um, increase my um, loyalty level with Ragman. But I am working to uh, increase my loyalty through these tasks. So if we go to trading, Ragman, tasks, minibus, Survive the area. Bam. It's complete. So this is supposed to increase me by 0 0.07. And yeah, see, I'm already out. I just need to level up, really. Nice. And then we have these other ones that are active. And so I will go in to... Uh, Get these other ones done too so thank you everybody for tuning in for this live stream of me uh, completing the ragman's quest minibus thanks a lot for watching you can find out more at hectoplasm.com or on uh, twitch tv forward slash hectoplasm this is monty reed as hectoplasm playing escape from tarkov have a great day